Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, the 25th of February. Hey, the sun is shining after a wild night of uh, severe weather late last night. Another threat, Monday. Let's take a look and uh, see what's going on here. First off, the Skycam shots this afternoon. Gorgeous scene there coming from Birmingham, looking south in the Daniel Building. Nice to see the sun shine. Feels pretty good. A little cooler out there today. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Down below the First Baptist Church. And off in the distance, you can see Bryant-Denny Stadium. And from Jasper. Boy, we saw some Transformers blowing up on that Sky Cam last night during those storms. But things are nice and calm this afternoon. The system that brought the severe weather last night has moved on. We are in between systems and uh, nice and cool and stable. Those are 1 o'clock observations, only 58 in Birmingham and 54 for Gadsden. Look at the Shoals, 45, downright chilly up there, but notice Montgomery sitting at 72. They're in bright sunshine now that the sun's out. Most spots will see a high in the low and mid-60s before the day is over, but it'll be pretty chilly tonight. We'll be in the 30s by daybreak uh, tomorrow. And boy, look at the storm reports from uh, yesterday and last night. 223 reports of damaging wind with that system. Pretty impressive. Uh, 11 tornado reports. Notice uh, no tornado reports in Alabama. There were some tornado warnings, but uh, sure looks like all of the damage here was from damaging straight line winds. And that system is winding down up in the northeast. Uh, a lot of wind advisories east of here and uh, still winter storm warnings for northern New England. And out west, more issues. Boy, uh, the mountains of Arizona could be buried with snow. Uh, elevations out there with the new system above uh, 7,000 feet could see two feet of snow. That includes Flagstaff. And uh, that's the one that will be bothering us early next week. All right, there's the convective outlook for day three. This is uh, Sunday and late Sunday night, early Monday. This is valid from 6 a.m. Sunday until 6 a.m. Monday. Uh, the standard risk of severe weather roughly from uh, near Kansas City to Birmingham. That includes Memphis. Uh, Jackson, Little Rock, the, pr the probabilities are centered to the northwest of the state, the higher probabilities, uh, Arkansas and Missouri, really, and down to about Memphis. And, of course, it, that's Sunday night, and it remains to be seen exactly how this thing will unfold for Monday, uh, the daytime hours. There could be a risk on into day four. depends on the timing, as you'll see. <laughs> There's the uh, QPF chart. And uh, this is valid through Wednesday morning, and this is suggesting really not a lot of rain, uh, for Mobile, in fact, hardly anything down there with maybe uh, one half to three quarters of an inch for the Tennessee Valley. So this is suggesting that the uh, <coughs> rainfall with this system Monday would not be as great as the rain we saw late last night. Some spots had almost one inch. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run at noon tomorrow, noon Saturday. Zonal flow, big storm out there in the, in the western states uh, around Los Angeles and down below that beautiful day. We'll start the day probably in the mid-30s, a touch of frost in spots. Wind up with a high close to 70, low humidity. Sunday, the system lifts out of the southwest, getting a little closer. Moisture starts to come back as the gulf opens up. There could be a few scattered showers. Sunday will not be a rainy day, just a few showers passing through at times, becoming breezy. Sunday night at midnight. The short wave is digging through Texas and Oklahoma. Surface low begins to gather strength around St. Louis, under 1,000 millibars, 996 millibar low. Things are still quiet here. And we'll go to Monday at midday. This is Monday at noon. Short wave, negative tilt a little north of here. Surface low is near Indianapolis, 996 millibars with a trailing front and a band of thunderstorms. And this is really suggesting it will be a daytime event Monday. The... <coughs> Obviously, the deeper surface low is way up north, but like I've said before, we've had problems in setups like this before. Uh, you go back and look at some of the bigger events we've had over the years. In fact, it looks like that. So just because the surface low is so far north doesn't necessarily mean we'll get away with nothing. Uh, we'll peek at the uh, European. Pretty similar. This is a noon Monday. Uh, surface low, the deepest part of that surface low is near Buffalo. But again, uh, pretty deep farther south and again the band of storms coming through here would be monday afternoon really so uh, the models are indeed a little slower 
We'll check the uh, instability values. This is coming off the uh, NAM Monday at noon. The uh, better instability axis uh, through West Alabama, East Mississippi. And again, nothing overwhelming. And really, the better capes are up north where the colder air aloft is located, but still capes up to about 500 joules. Helicity values looking pretty high. This is the low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer. Uh, the big numbers are up north, but quite frankly, sometimes you can have too much helicity. It disrupts the updraft. That's certainly enough for uh, rotating updrafts uh, Monday. There's the significant tornado parameter, the STP, Monday at noon. Uh, the values exceed 2, uh, all the way from near Meridian, Mississippi, up to Cincinnati. And again, that would suggest there could be a tornado threat. And the supercell composite parameter, the SCP, again, pretty impressive numbers, uh, in excess of uh, five units. So really and truly, uh, it looks like it will be a daytime event Monday. Uh, and uh, based on this, I think all modes of severe weather possible it might be we get that uh, forced squall line north of us and things become more cellular down here. So again, we'll watch it more carefully over the weekend, but certainly Monday could be a severe weather day, no doubt about that. Tuesday, things are nice and quiet. Again, the uh, GFS, not as chilly with the latest runs. It's got us in the low 40s uh, Tuesday morning and a high in the 60s. Same thing Wednesday. I still think some of the colder valleys might touch uh, freezing, but beautiful, very comfortable. And Thursday looks good. Week from today, new storm uh, off to the west. And uh, then the following day, Saturday, March 5th, pretty good looking uh, shortwave coming through here. And by golly, that might be a setup for some strong storms. Um Got something planned that weekend, just be aware of that. And uh, pretty cold air coming in behind that. But the core of that cold air stays a little north of us. That's uh, March 6th, uh, Sunday. But that might get us down to freezing that Sunday morning. Into the forecast, March 13th, southwest flow aloft. And again, that looks a little unsettled. Ah, uh, must be March in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. Brian is the internationally beloved meteorologist, as we call him on Weather Brains. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.